Hey guys, so it's Saturday morning and we are just now checking out of our um, hotel room here at the Wilderness Resort. Um, we are headed off to get some breakfast and then I know we're going to hit some flea markets today. Um, Which of the breakfast stores right in Dell? Well, there is a restaurant in the hotel, but we're going to go somewhere else. We're going to eat somewhere else. Anyway. I want to get breakfast in Dell. What would you have? We're having pancakes. pancakes. Did you get pancakes yesterday for breakfast? Yep. Yeah. And you want them again today? Mm -hmm. You know what? We may go somewhere else where they have pancakes. Go on to IHOP. <laughs> anyway, um, so we're going to grab breakfast. We're going to do some flea markets today. There are various flea markets all along the strip and some antique stores. Um, we are going to hit another ice cream shop so Judah can do a little evaluation thing that's what he wanted to do on vacation visit different ice cream stores and rate them <laughs> um on the quality of their so ice cream so we're gonna do that um oh, there's one i think there's a marble slab and then there are some other little smaller shops so i don't know what we'll end up going to um and i don't know what else we're gonna get into today we are heading home and we're gonna sleep at home tonight so we'll just see how the day goes Anybody from Lord of the Rings? I see some elves back there. Elves? Mm hmm. The elves. There's the Ghostbusters, too. Oh, Ghostbusters? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I see that weird looking face. questionnaire 
kind of thing with each other and share that and answers with you guys. Okay, so first, have you ever met someone famous? Yes. Yes? Who? Famous in our circles. <laughs> Some of the guys from Iowa.
like I agree with you. My initial thought was I would prefer to go on a holiday to the beach because we don't have beaches other than like the lake, but that's different. We don't have beaches here, so that sounds like a relaxing vacation to me. But because we have kids, we have to go places where there's like a lot of things to do for them. I don't know if they would be more just at the beach for a whole week. I don't know. Anyway. What do we call it? Vacation. Oh, <laughs> well, some people, some Americans call it a holiday. <laughs> okay, do you like TV talent shows? We don't watch them that much, but I mean, we, we, they're, they're okay, but I don't think, we just don't really watch them that much. What's your opinion on reality TV shows? Like, do you think it's real?
won the lottery and it was like buying their dream homes and it was like um, they were buying their homes for their family members or whatever and so I feel like if we won the lottery we would like want to pay off people's debts and like help people or help um, charities or ministries or anything like that that we could um, Probably help. A lot of it yeah. <laughs> to become a superhero, what would your power be? I think everybody would want to fly, right? I'm trying to think if I would... I think I would like to be able to go back in time, because if you go back in time, you can stop things from happening or change the trajectory of things. But then when you change something, it changes lots of other things, so I don't know. I would think. Um, okay, let's do one more. Um, how many pillows do you sleep with? I sleep with two. I sleep with a ton. This is why we have a king size bed. It's for Dean and his pillows. And his little, little wife. My superhero power. from um, driving back from Pigeon Forge and we picked up some dinner at a local Thai restaurant and the boys are out playing with a few toys that they got and eating their dinner and Dean and I are gonna eat in just a second. Um, I wanted to quickly hop on here and show you some things that we picked up at the flea market today and at this little store called Ollie's. Um, it's like a store where they get um, surplus, I guess, from big uh, box companies or big box stores and different brands and I do not know what's going on out there um, Anyway, they had just a ton of discounted like new items And so I wanted to show you some things that I got I definitely feel like Dean and I should take a Saturday where maybe my mom comes and watches the kids and then we drive down It would be worth it. It would be worth us driving all the way down there um, with like all of the seats in the car <laughs> emptied and folded down just so we could buy stuff for Christmas and birthdays and just gifts like um, they have so many nice things there and the prices are really great and you could just kind of stock up on gifts that you wanted to get people throughout the year like really nice things I'm not talking about cheapo stuff so anyway this is the first thing I got the lights are on in here I'm sorry it's weird if you can see it it's a charcuterie board kind of thing for meats and cheeses um, and it comes with a chalk board like a slate right here and you can write the names of the stuff that you're putting out on there um, this is from Refinery and & Company, and I paid, it was normally $25, and I paid $15 for it. So, it's got like two little knife um, utensils, and they have copper handles. Then it's a bamboo wooden board, and then it has the slate, and then two pieces of chalk that will write on the slate. Um, yeah, it's, oh wait, it says it's acacia. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Acacia wood, um, and it's a cheese board set but it looks like charcuterie style things here. Anyway, um, I love that. I'm trying to stock up on stuff for entertaining and I thought that would be perfect playing. It's getting crazy out there. Um, so another thing that I got at Ollie's, if I can get them to hang down, is this little, the light's hitting it weird. Can you guys see it? It's like a little bottle with gems, little stones on it right here. Um, and it has reeds in the back, so it's a reed diffuser. And it comes with a bottle of fragrance oil, but I'm not a big fan of fragrance oil. Um, I'll probably just take one of my essential oil bottles or like an essential oil blend that I've made, um, and I will pour that in here and stick the reed diffusers in and then just refill this whenever I want and I'll stick it out on a table. It was $15 and it was down to $5.99. So good deal there and it's pretty and it's tiny and I can just set it in any room of the house. So that'll look really nice. Um, and then, let's see, I picked up, I don't know if you guys can see this, it's a three-piece LED candle set for fall, for autumn, so it's got the leaves in it, um, and it has a timer, and it was $33, $32, down to $9.99, so pretty good. 
I have some of these already, but they're just regular candles and I'll swap them out for the fall candles. Come on. A four hour timer. It has a remote. Pretty cool. Maybe I should have bought two of these. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, um, those are the three things I got at Ollie's. I told Dean, I was like, I seriously feel like you could rent a U-Haul and we could hook it up behind the car and we could just drive it home and I'll just fill it with all sorts of things because there were like tubes of Burt's Bees toothpaste for 99 cents. I pay like $5 for that stuff when I need to get it for the boys or myself or um, they had Schmidt's deodorant. Um, I don't particularly love that brand but the boys may use it and like it and it would work. Um, Gosh, what else did they have? They had dishwashing tabs that were like, um, like more natural, biodegradable kind of uh, things there for uh, cheaper prices. And I just thought, man, there's just so many things I could just buy and what? <laughs> Put in a U-Haul and bring home. I'm not sure what that says about me. Like I'm trying to stock up on all kinds of cheap stuff. Anyway, I like good deals. <laughs> um, and then on the way home, um, Dean had me stop at Walmart and run in and get some JEB active noise canceling headphones because I have been like I mow every single week and it takes me about an hour and a half on our mower to mow our yard like the part the portion that we mow we don't we have like seven plus acres here um just over seven I think and we don't mow the whole thing but we do mow a huge part of it and so it takes me about an hour and a half um on a zero turn mower and it's fast and I love listening to audiobooks when I mow, but I can't really hear them with my earbuds in because of the noise of the mower with the blades on. So my sister-in-law told me about these uh, noise canceling headphones that are Bluetooth activated. And I was like, oh, I've got to get some of these because she said they, when she mows, she listens to audiobooks. So I picked these up at Walmart. They were a pretty decent brand. Um, they were kind of pricey. I think they were like $89, but they were also $89 on Amazon. So um, hopefully it's like a good investment and I'll get a lot of use out of it and be able to listen to more audiobooks that way. And then the last thing that I want to share with you guys was a couple of things we picked up at the natural food store on our way home. Um, I did not include this in part in the, in the Wednesday portion, um, which I think was day three of our vlogcation video series because um, Dean was in a lot of pain and I just didn't really want to like make a big deal out of it for his sake but he at Backbone Rock he um, was walking with uh, Judah over a fallen tree over the creek and his shoes were wet and I guess the tree was kind of wet too and he slipped and he fell and he caught himself so he didn't fall like completely in the water but his lower back did hit a big rock and so he has a bruise and he's super sore and he's been he's been such a champ he's been so uncomfortable um the whole time we were in pigeon forge doing all the things we had to do and he didn't get to do what all the things he wanted to do on vacation with the boys i had to do a ton of the water um park activities with them um he probably didn't get very good quality sleep the whole time because he's uncomfortable in the bed um so anyway we should have done this sooner but we didn't um, but we stopped on the way back and got some Arnica gel. Arnicare gel is what this one is. Um, I don't know the brand. Maybe that's the brand. Arnica Care gel and some um, Arnica homeopathic tablets. I'm out of these. I usually keep these on hand and I did not have any because I actually looked when I was packing up all of my herbal things to go on this trip, um, especially camping, I looked because I was going to bring my Arnica tablets just in case something happened, like a sprained ankle on hiking and I needed it and I didn't have any and I thought, oh, I should get some of those and I didn't and I wish I had because I needed them. <laughs> um, anyway, so he's taking these about three times a day and we're rubbing the Arnica gel on the spot where um, it hurts the most. Um, Arnica is an herb and you can't, it's toxic when you take it internally unless you take it in homeopathic form. Um, but it's used externally and it really helps with bruising, swelling, muscle pain. It really helps to like, I call it the bruise eraser. It kind of like um, helps the, the stagnant blood that's in the spot of the bruise kind of dissipate in the body and disappear. Um, and so it's, it's really good. Um, we probably would have done better if we'd started using it as soon as he got hurt, but we were, in Damascus we were coming home and then we were going to um, 
the Pigeon Forge area and I didn't know anywhere around there with natural health stores. I'm sure they're there, I just didn't know. Um, and so when we got back into our kind of local area, I knew where to stop and grab this stuff. Um, and I used to have some Arnica gel, but I didn't have it either. I actually looked when I was packing to see if I had my gel and I didn't have it either. So we must've used it all. The kids are going crazy out here. I don't know what they're doing. Anyway, so I just wanted to let you guys know what we're using on his back. Um, this is normally like a weekly vlog and part of this vlog is our healthy living journey and how I work as an herbalist and the different things we do. And so I thought I really should share this um, and to show you guys kind of what we're doing. Anyway, so this weekly vlogging is really just a way for me to capture what's going on through our weeks and for the boys to be able to look back and um, see some sort of like home videos and a, a way to connect with you guys a little bit more about the lifestyle that we have and the way we live it. And part of our lifestyle is using um, healthy products, me working as an herbalist, um, just how we try to live life as naturally as we can. Um, and so I thought I really should document the things that we're doing for his back for this um, bruised area on his back and a little bit of the nerve pain that it's causing. Now, I will say he is taking um, Advil like every six hours he's taking some Advil because it does hurt really badly. And Advil, I'm not a big fan of over-the-counter stuff, but when you need it, I'm grateful that we have it and it definitely helps. It's better than other things that we could take um, for pain relief because um, it really helps with that inflammation and swelling. And while inflammation and swelling is good to an extent, there is a time for um, trying to ease inflammation in the body, whether you're using herbs and natural products or you're using over-the-counter medicines. Um, so while we have been gone and not having access to these, he has been using the Advil. Um, hopefully this stuff will start uh, using that alongside the Advil and will really kick in and help that bruise and that swelling and all the inflammation to kind of go away. Um, and over the next two to three days, we'll see a good bit more improvement and he can like get off of the Advil, taking it as regularly as he has been. Um, so yeah, that's what we're doing. So anyway, I just wanted to hop on here and show you my finds, um, show you what, or tell you what we were doing for his back and wrap up today's vlog occasion video. Um, we have one more day of our vacation tomorrow, so I hope you guys will come back and watch that one and then um, I will catch you guys later. Bye.